So in this video, I'm going to show you a must-know lick by Mr. Bill Monroe himself. This is a very simple lick. But if you play around with it and resolve it in different direction and um, move it around, you can actually create a whole like melody out of it. I'm going to demonstrate that once, and then we go in and I'll show you how you can do it. Okay, here we go. One, two, and one, two, three, four. Yeah, let me show how you can play this lick by Bill Monroe. MandolinSecrets.com My name is Magnus and I help you grow as a mandolin player, giving you a richer toolbox so you can experience more musical freedom. And if you're new at a channel, please subscribe. I have new videos like this coming out every week. And this link is actually coming from the melody of Tombstone Junction by Bill Monroe. And it and its most simple way. It sounds like this. And it's one of these movable box line licks that it's coming out of this, like the G shape of the chop chord. I think you want to start learning this by first maybe playing down strokes only. have this lick written down. It's uh, something we are working on in the Mandolin Secrets Academy. And uh, I think it's pretty straightforward actually. The only thing that's coming as a little detail here is the slide when going from the B flat note into the B. So like this. Do it once more. One, two, three, four. So whole thing starting on the G note on the E string and ending on the G string on the D note. Uh, sorry, G note on the D string. And as I said, this is something you can move around. So when you learn it, how to play it with down strokes, you also want to play it with alternate picking, like down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Because once you learn that, you can bring it up to speed, like one, two, and one, two, three, four. Then you start to also to move it around. Just moving the same box on different places. And if you want to, yeah, in detail, we go through it in the academy. And also one thing that we like to look at is how you can resolve a lick into different notes. So you, you don't want to learn a lick like this and then get it isolated only to use in one, uh, one specific way. You want to know how to use it one lick but play it in many different ways. And one way to do it is to try to resolve it to different notes. And I have, I, for example, four ways of resolving this. Uh, and when I'm saying resolving, it's it, for this case, it's actually the note that we're landing on when we're finishing the line. So that's we're resolving it to the G note, 
which is the root, but we can also resolve it to the seventh, and the third, and the fifth. Demonstrate it like this. Root, seventh, third, fifth. So I hope you can follow along there and this is something you want to try. And if you're not, maybe check out the, in the academy so you get the notation for all these four licks or the one lick played in four different ways. And uh, also it's very cool to like play this lick over 12 bar blues for example. So then you're just um, playing the, the lick on top of each chord during the chord changes. That was, was what I was doing earlier on in the introduction. it for today's lesson. And please let me know in the comments below is this the way you usually work with a lick? You learn a small phrase like that and then you play around with it like putting into different keys and resolving it to different notes? Let me know if you're used to this kind of digesting the licks that you're learning. Yeah, let me know in the comments and if you like the video please hit the like button and maybe you want to share this video with a mandolin playing friend. Would be very glad if you help me spread the message. Yeah, and until next time, have a good time and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye.